Fantastic. In the category of RTO trainer, uh, we have two winners. Mr. Jeff Irvine from the Australian Institute of Personal Trainers. Congratulations, Jeff. He couldn't be here tonight, but I'm just wondering if there's somebody coming up to collect his award. And the other winner in the RTO Trainer Award is Louise Kinloch from Evoca College. Congratulations, Louise. Well done. Wonderful. Congratulations, Louise. In the uh, category for technology, one winner tonight, Mr. Peter Moriarty from IT Genius. Congratulations, Peter. Yeah, that was nice, Sam. Excellent. Um, Wonderful category, vocational education and training sector, a sector close to my heart. Um, and two worthy uh, winners tonight. Maria Doyle from Creating Quality Learning Experiences. Congratulations, Maria. from Workforce Blueprint. Well done, Wendy. So um, the power of social media and the power of the, the interweb, um, isn't it amazing that in its first year of running the Edupreneur Awards, um, it's already had a global impact with um, entries coming from nine countries. So that alone deserves a, a huge clap. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... If I, I think we should clap them even though they're not here. I think we should recognise the country. So, from Canada, uh, Kristen Garn. So, well done to Kristen. Amazing. From China, Jeff Luntz. Well done to Jeff. From Germany, Felix A. Schwiefart. Well done, Felix. From Kenya, Teresa Shinyadu. From Malta, not often we hear from Malta, Dr. Rita McAuliffe. From our brothers across the Tasman from New Zealand, John Kamarkowski. From the United Kingdom, Manel Morris Dayad. And two winners from the United States of America, Holly Coleman and Gregory Strong. Okay, so as there's a big hush across the room, because we're up to the uh, pointy end of the awards. So this is the final award of the evening, and, and this goes to a uh, very special um, edupreneur. Um, it's an edupreneur who started from humble beginnings, but has given above and beyond to the knowledge and the development of others, um, despite their own setbacks. Um, their edupreneurial efforts have changed the lives of thousands of people in the past 12 months on a global scale. Uh, for this, the judges have decided that the final award will go to the Edupreneur of the Year. So, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the Edupreneur Winner of the Year for 2015, Sam Cawthorn from the Institute of Professional Speakers. <laughs>
So, you know, there's a there's a word that I uh, that I recently come across, and the word is called kiros. Kiros is the Greek word for time, which means a moment within a moment, a particular moment, and where drastic change takes place. You know, I um I've actually. When I grew up as a young kid, I never really liked education, and to be quite honest, I actually got kicked out of school. Oh. And, uh, and and from there, you know, I, so I never never finished my HSC, never went in, went on to university. So I'm actually quite, in the traditional sense, I'm quite uneducated. And then from there, then I won this award, which was the Young Australian of the Year. And um, and then from there, I then started this um, started this speaker journey, which was a really, really interesting journey. And about two years ago, we partnered with Google, and we launched the Institute for Professional Speakers. Yeah. And around this around this time, I then realised, you know, obviously education is such an important part of everyone's journey, whether it is in the traditional way or actually in the entrepreneurial way. And so over the last few years now, we've, as an institute, spent over $150,000 just simply on developing our curriculum there for professional speakers. And I remember this one time when I won this award, Young Australian of the Year, I, um, I, I, I was there in Canberra and I'm about to meet the Prime Minister of Australia. But I'm thinking to myself, what can I do in order for the Prime Minister of Australia to remember me? Now you need to realise I've got this like really cool bionic arm, it's the most advanced bionic arm in the world, I program it with my iPhone 6, which is really cool. Um, actually get this, if you could download the app right now, you could, you could literally... Uh, yeah, anyway, anyway so, um, so I'm about to meet the Prime Minister of Australia, and I had my cosmetic arm, so he didn't notice that I had a prosthetic arm, so as I went to meet him, I detached my arm and my hand went into the Prime Minister's hand as I met him. That's brilliant. Brilliant. But I believe us as educators, we are here to stand out. Yes. And that's what I wanted to do to the Prime Minister of Australia. I wanted to make sure that he would never forget me. <laughs> And as, and, and as entrepreneurs, as uh, us all, every single moment of every single day, we are here to educate not only ourselves, but also educate others. Yeah. And I believe that today could be a day of a kiddos moment for you, a moment within a moment of drastic change, meaning that every single day we are here to not only educate ourselves by looking in the mirror, but also educate other people. And I wanted to finish with this question. If you had one thing that you could educate the world in, what would that one thing be? Thank you. Wow, what a worthy winner, Sam. Amazing, amazing, fantastic story, um, and I just think that deserves another round of applause. Congratulations. I'm sure that if you want to have a photo with Sam later tonight with one of the photographers, he's more than happy to accept. Um, that's amazing work, Sam, and to all the entrepreneurs present out there in the world making a positive impact. Um, Sam's going to still, uh, our DJ is going to uh, uh, twist the tunes for us for the rest of the night. Uh, so be prepared to let your hair down and enjoy the rest of the evening. Uh, now a paid bar for, for, for guests to partake of. Um, I would like to thank the lady to my left who's done an amazing job. The sponsors Inspire Money, uh, the photographers that have been helping tonight, Sam Osborne, the DJ, uh, the wonderful staff from the Duxon Hotel, and of course, uh, the delightful Usher, who's been helping people near Shilton tonight. Everybody have a great night, have a great Friday night.